a spiritual or worldly or whatever may be alignment is a must, without alignment, there will be, it will be in uh, demands. So alignment in many aspects, as the Kukshik Nere called home in parts of that, everything should be aligned properly. Similarly, alignment in us, how many alignments we can have? Can you give any one example? Your alignment, what you got? Alignment means. Clarity. He has given many examples. Clarity in thoughts. Huh? Clarity in thoughts. Like that, plenty. <coughs> plenty of alignments we can have. Every small, small thing is an alignment. Finally, finally, when a final alignment takes place, which is the final, every day that chota chota alignments what we are making, we are learning. By alignment, we are learning. But finally it culminates in the final alignment. There is nothing but final alignment with the God's Supreme. That's all. That's the end. But we are all doing every day knowingly or unknowingly, we are undergoing the process of alignment. We have to execute alignments in the worldly affairs as well as because we are all in spiritual life, in the spiritual life also. Even in the house, if you are managing with your wife, Huh? There should be an alignment. If no alignment, huh? that's all. Huh? So like that, in the alignment, in plenty, plenty, every, every step is an alignment, in my opinion. Every step, what to take, is an alignment. Now, worldly, we, we have already had them mainly, we have got base, that is education, training, then you have entered into business or you have employment, something like that, and you are managing. And spiritually, also, you are progressing, spiritually. Today's fact is spiritual alignment. Now, I get a basic doubt. I ask it many people, but uh, once we are in spirituality, in my opinion, in my opinion, if somebody asks a question, huh, if somebody asks you, Patriji, or anybody for that matter, he puts a question. When, when Patriji asks a question, you should answer straight. Straight. If you use your mind, he knows that you are using your mind. He will cut then and there. You should never, as long as you are, that you take Vakshuddhi. Whenever you are talking in spirituality, you should not use the mind. Without using the mind, you should answer. Suppose I put a question. The moment the question even, you know, this uh, quiz is something will be going on in TVs, even if before asking, many people are pressing the buzzer. One word he says, already they press the buzzer. That means their mind is already so much uh, ahead, uh, corrected. That is not uh, correct. There is not an alignment at all. If you want really alignment in your professional, area as well as in spiritual area, as far as possible, you should keep the mind away. If you don't keep the mind away, you don't learn also. It will not allow you to learn. Suppose you go to a, suppose you have come here for a lecture. When I am talking, I say a sentence, hmm? actually if you had little experience of that, some other person has told something about that, your mind already starts balancing. Oh, he has told like this, Prabhupada Murthy is telling like this, balancing. No. Whenever you are learning, that means every minute to minute you are learning. As far as possible, if you keep your mind away, you can learn a lot. Don't allow that monkey to do its business. Mind you should do uh, this. Uh, sorry, I was using other way, mind now, the word. Mind. mind should not use. Ah, sorry, sorry. It is actually intellect. Mind you should use, not the intellect. I am very sorry, intellect. I can use them. Uh, in my mind it was actually intellect, but I uttered uh, mind. Intellect. You should not use the intellect. Buddhi. The moment uh, it starts, Buddhi, Buddhi. Buddhi. it starts scratching from the storehouse, then it gives input to the mind. Then mind acts. 
So intellect is never allowed to play a role. Then we can talk. Mind, I'm very sorry. Mind has definitely got to be used. So intellect should not be. Now, I just, you know, in spiritual alignment, basic alignment is what we have Basic alignment. As I told you, you can have your own plenty. You can have plenty like that because it is a vast information, vast area. You can bifurcate it pieces like that. Every individual, if you take your right, that's alignment what you're selecting is right for you and you have alignment. Because your condition and your experience and your work area is different, that alignment should be carried like that in each individual. Now basically in spiritual it become according to me alignment when it comes. Mainly we are three people. Three. You know. Who are they? Body, mind and the soul. They are three. There should be an alignment in all these three. If this alignment is not there, whether it's spiritually or in a worldly matter, if this alignment is not there, no, you will not be successful at all. Body, mind and the soul. All the three put together, if any problem or anything is attacked, definitely it will be solved. Now body goes somewhere, mind goes somewhere, soul is somewhere. That means each person is driving in different directions. Actually, uh, many times I have heard this story. A bus suddenly came to an heart. Then uh, conductor, uh, the driver told, you have to push the bus. So everybody got down from the bus. Everybody started pushing. Not an inch uh, move. What's the reason? The spark is huh? sparks in the gear. Huh? It's in the gear. Gear, yeah, okay. Next. <laughs> the front people must be pushing from the front. Who is pressing the brakes? No. Everybody got down. 15 people this side, 15 people that side, 10 people front, 10 people back. They started pushing. Then it will move. One direction. Like that, body, mind and the soul, everybody should go in one direction. That, uh, there is not alignment. There is alignment. So if everybody would have pushed from back side, it would have moved. It's only a story, just to you know, drive a point. Uh, uh, like that, everybody should be in alignment. Body, mind and the soul. Again, you bike for it further. Body alone you get. In, in body itself, you need alignments. You know how many bodies we have? Each person, see this bifurcation can be done to the minute level. Micro, macro, cell, like that, you know, they said. According to their thinking, they split into parts. Some people seven bodies, some people say three bodies, some say five, like that. So let us consider our, for our scriptures, there are five bodies. Five. Then they say, Anamai Sarila. Prana Maya Sarila, then uh, Manon Maya Sarila, then Nidana uh, Maya Sarila, then Ananda Maya Sarila. The five bodies we have here. First of all, there should be alignment in this five. If there is no alignment between the physical body and the other bodies, problem, 